What's up, people? Quick Pro Charger updates a couple days late, but uh, I've got a couple other things going on right now. So I got my Pro Charger oil in the mail. It's right here. Big box. Um, we will be taking the vehicle over to Dunfab Motorsports on Friday, and I will be recording and showing you how to suck out the oil out of the Pro Charger using a, basically, it looks like a giant turkey baster. It's called a Midivac. Super, super easy. It's a recommended procedure. HHP showed me how to do this. I had one guy who questioned it, actually called Pro Charger, and they said yes. They confirmed it, it is a recommended procedure. You can do this. You can suck the oil out from the top. Um, we will be changing the oil on the vehicle while we're over there. Uh, I don't I do not do it myself. People are like, well, why don't you just change the oil yourself and save money? Well, I don't have a garage. I don't like climbing under the vehicle. Um, yeah, I guess I should do it, but I don't. So, oh well. But that's what's going on on Friday. Uh, nothing to report as far as the Pro Charger goes. Everything's running smooth. Uh, the unit now has um, about 6,000 miles on it, closing in on 6,000 miles. Um, we're at our 5,000 mile oil change. It's back. It's actually about 5,200 where we're at right now. Um, and we changed it at 500. So we're closed in on 6,000 miles on the Pro Charger kit itself. Uh, for, in a couple of days, we will hit four months with the unit. And um, you know what? Everything's been running smooth. We have a new tune to test that Josh sent me to uh, see if the uh, cold start, if uh, the, the issue I'm experiencing with cold starting um, can be remedied as far as, it just takes a little bit longer to turn over. And that's it. All right, people, that's all I got for you. You guys and girls be safe. Check back on Friday, and I'll show you the procedure over at Dunfat. That's it. I'm out.